Hello everybody. All of you are welcome in English class. Today we are going to study about an essay, The Student's Life, that is written by Sir William Osler, a famous Canadian writer. Okay, very brief introduction about the writer, The Student's Life, is written by Sir William Osler was born in 1849 and died in 1919. He's Canadian and professionally is an author, professor and physician. He's one of the uh, important uh, professor, especially he's uh, uh, regarded as uh, uh, one of the founder member of John Hopkins Hospital one of the four founding professor of John Hopkins Hospital. He belongs to medical field. All right, in this essay, right, this essay, what he focuses that the student's life and this essay is taken from the student life and other essays. This is a perfect example of encouragements for students especially in the medical fields because he also belong to medical sector he has used many analogies and the quotation from different books it shows that he is the voracious reader and he has given the good suggestion to be a good student of course it is very motivational and encouraging Studying about students is the most interesting thing after love. Usually the topics in literature you can find about love. And what is the second topic according to him? Probably about students. He compares the students with the poet and says true students budget with the divine spark. Occasionally, they have such a divine quality. They should have observing desire to know the truth, continuous pursuit, open hearts, free from suspicion, will, and jealousy. And a study that should not be like that, you know, such negative aspect. They should stress, yes, they should stress, and the, the poet has stresses the value of truth. That is in the top priority. The student always always should give the you know value of truth at the top. Truth is a simple matter if we have desire to get it. But of course we need to have the very sharp desire to get the truth. If we don't know the full truth, we should be satisfied with the fragment. We also need to be satisfied with the fragment of the truth until we cannot discover the complete truth. Okay, truth is the best to get with the best interviewer. That is most important point. Every genuine student should try his or her best to get the truth to achieve the truth. If we fail to get the truth, we are mind blindness. Mind blindness. Yes, if we are not able to find the truth, of course, we are mind blindness. Truth is not easily recognized, though it hover around us. Truth hover around us, but it cannot be easily recognized. To identify the truth, of course, we need to work hard. And sometimes, sometimes, we may suppose the false idea as truth. In research such happens, suppose before Copernicus theory, the concept of Geocentric was in permanent. People believed that the earth 
was in the center and other planet revolve around the earth but actually copernicusian theory discover new truth that is heliocentric heliocentric theory means what in the center there is sun and other planet revolve around the sun that is his suggestion okay if we are not able to find the complete truth in that case we need to be satisfied with the fragment but the pursuit of truth should be in the continuation each every truth has to struggle anything in the world which has been discovered has not suddenly dropped from the sky it is the hard work hard labor of intelligence people he stresses the truth and the honesty in their say honest heart will keep him in touch with his fellow students we need to have honest heart and develop the sense of friendship with the fellow workers teacher is regarding teacher what he says teacher is just a senior friend there should not be big distance in the gap between the teacher and students teacher should remember as a junior friend and the students should remember teacher as a senior friend there should be only a small gap senior and the junior all the students are good it says that all the students are good but some are genius so they are quite different genius students are quite different that's why they are extraordinary they are remarkable they are quite different and unique the modern students should have concentration and should go thoroughly what he reads he means to say that in study there should be deep study superficial study does not lead to the success the true student is the citizen of the world let's see how important what is the essence of the true students a true student is the citizen of the world and add the new dimension in the world of course you know whatever new discoveries invention are added in the world that is because of the very hard work of the students the student must be allowed to full freedom in his work they should not be dominated by the administration the teachers they should be given the freedom as according to their innovative power the serious drawbacks in students life what is the students life serious drawback the self consciousness right if they are not self conscious okay that is the problem the students should travel another thing that helps to get the knowledge it means the bookish knowledge the theoretical knowledge it is important but that is not complete the student need to get practical knowledge that's why they need to go uh, observation experimentation to get the real knowledge the student should not wait for the best time to start the work they don't need to wait for the best time because you know this should make every time best the work and need to works very hard without hard working as yes, success cannot be achieved suddenly okay thank you thank you very much for your listening